All right, I'm gonna show you how to upload an app to the Android Google Play console. So the first thing you're gonna need is an app that's already built out. The second thing you'll need is a Google Play console account. It's $25. If you haven't made one already, make one there. We're also gonna need an EAS Expo account. So if you haven't made one of those already, do that as well. So the first thing we're actually gonna do is go into the Google Play, Google Cloud console because we're gonna make a service account for our developer account. So I guess you also need a Google Cloud account as well. So we're gonna hit new project and we're gonna call this sequence game because that's the game of our account. We already did this in iOS, so link in the description below if you wanna check that out. And no organization, that's fine, create. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is go up here and type in Google Android, and then we have the Google Play Android Developer API. So we're gonna to wanna to enable this API so we can manage our app in the Google Play Store. Okay, perfect. Next thing we wanna do is go back to the home. And we're going to IAM and admin, and then we're gonna go down to service accounts, and we're going to create a service account. We're gonna call this sequence game, create and continue, select a role. Okay, so then we're gonna go down to service, service accounts, and then we're gonna scroll down, we're gonna go to service account user, continue, and hit done. Okay, perfect, now we have this sequence game that was generated down here. Now we're gonna go to actions, and we're going to go to manage keys. We're gonna hit add key, create new key. We're gonna do the JSON, we're gonna hit close and it was automatically downloaded. So that's perfect, we'll be using that later. Okay, so now we're gonna go back to our developer or Google Play console. And we're gonna to go to the console that we ideally have already made yet. We're gonna go down to users and permissions. And then we're going to invite new users. And we're going to get this email address and we're gonna get it from the service account that we just created. So we're gonna go right here, copy paste this go back, press paste, and then we're gonna go down to account permissions, admin, all permissions, and invite user. We're gonna send the invite, perfect. And now the service sequence gain at phone auth. So we actually accidentally added a project phone auth instead of sequence game, but I think that's all right. So the next thing we're gonna be working on is the EAS services. So we're gonna to go to EAS build uh, well, not build Android, but ESA build. And we're gonna run, so if you haven't already, we are going to install this npm install G -E -S -A -E -A -S -C -L -I. I've already done this, so we're gonna go in and we're gonna make sure we are logged in. So we can do ES who am I, or you can do login. And as you can see, I'm already logged in. So we are good there. Now we're gonna go ES build configure. So we're creating the build right now. We're gonna do it for Android, and I believe it should. Okay, and it looks like it was already built out, so it looks like we're good there. So now we're gonna actually run the build. So we're gonna do EAS build and platform Android. And it asks us if we wanna generate a new Android key store. Yes, because we don't have one right now. Created a key store. And now the build is queued. So now if we go to our EAS, we go to, I believe, homepage, or we go to snacks and then dashboard we have our sequence game. And right now, as you can see, the Android Play Store build is being loaded. So once this is done, I'll let you all know. Okay, perfect. It looks like the build is complete. Now that we have the build, we can download this AAB file and we'll need this later to upload to the Android Store. So now we're gonna go to our Google Play console, hit home, and now we can finally create our app. And so we're gonna call it the sequence game. I had the exclamation point because I believe sequence game might be taken. I'd probably say it's a game, it's free, and it meets the privacy policies and requirements. Okay, so get it started with the app. So now it just takes a long time. We have to do all these tests. So select testers. Yes, we'll add this tester. We'll hit save, perfect. Let's go back to dashboard. So create new release. Okay, let's actually do all these other tasks first. 
So set up your app. This is what takes a while. So we're going to go down and finish all these. We'll try and speed run it. So the first thing is privacy policy. So we're actually going to generate this from this site called app.privacypolicies. This is the best thing that I've found. It basically just generates all the privacy policy you need for you. And so and you just it just takes like a second to fill it out. I'm from California. And we'll do email address. Oh wait, we actually don't collect any information. And then next step, um, how can users contact you? Email address, perfect. Next step, no, I don't want professional privacy policy. And then put in the email again, and then we generate it. And then very quickly, we have a privacy policy generated. It takes no time at all, so definitely recommend it, and we can check it out. Looks good. So we are going to copy and paste this onto here and hit save. Now we're going to go back to dashboard, scroll down app access. Um, yes, there's no access restrictions. Save. Go back to. And then we go to ads. No, we have no ads. Back to dashboard. OK, content rating. So let's start our questionnaire. Email address, we'll add in my email address. And then this is a game. And then I agree to the terms and conditions. So there's no fear, no, no, no. Nope, nope, no crude humor. Uh, nope. All right, this is probably all no. There's nothing, because this is just like a very common game. There's no uh, kidnapping or anything like that. So next, your rating is good. Okay, looks good. Next, and then, okay, let's go back to dashboard. Okay, target audience. So we're just gonna put 16 and 17. We don't, or 13, 16, 17, 18. Yeah, I'd hit next. Perfect. All right, let's go back to dashboard. We're going to go to news app. This is not a news app. Perfect. Dashboard. Data safety. Luckily, we do not collect any data, so this will be quick. So do we collect any data? No. OK, next. Save. Perfect. Let's go back to dashboard. Government apps. No, this is not a government app. Let's go back to dashboard. Financial features. This is not a financial. Nice, perfect. Let's save it and go back to dashboard. Health, this is not a health app either, so we can basically say no health features. Easy. Back to dashboard. Okay, okay, set up the app category. So this is a game, so we manage tags. We'll just say strategy game and then apply. All right, perfect. Contact details, we just will put the email because that's the only required thing. We'll just put the email, hit save, perfect. And it looks like we're good to go. Game, oh, I see, okay, we forgot to put the game category here. Now we're gonna go to app game or strategy, call it strategy game. Now we can go back to dashboard and set up the store listing. Okay, I already generated these before. I actually typed this out, short description and full description. We have the short description and the full description. And I would recommend in the full description to explicitly state what your app does in each screen. So for example, I said, oh, I have the game screen and the high score screen. And I basically said exactly what the game does it is because recently I, I was uploading an Android app and I had troubles with this. And if you upload three times and you get denied three times from the Google Android store, then they could potentially ban your account or you can get like a cross or a strike against your account and you don't want that. So make sure this full description is as accurate as possible. Okay, so we have the app icon. Okay, so I have the icon, but it's not in the correct dimensions of 512, 512. So I'm just gonna type in Android icon generator and it looks like I've used this one before. So 
we're going to add the icon and generate it. So we're going to go to the file, download it. Perfect. And now we have the correct file. So we're going to go to, to our upload. And now we're going to go app icons and app store. Or we're going to go play store. So we're going to go play store. I believe that's the right one. Perfect. That looks good. And now we're going to go feature graphic. So what I did for this one was just type in feature graphic generator Android. And I did hot pot AI. And I actually just used this one right here. And I just changed the name. You can check it out right here. So this is the feature graphic, just the name and a block. So I thought that was kind of cool. OK, we're also going to need screenshots. So if you haven't done these already, you can generate these screenshots. OK, I have these screenshots right here, the phone screenshots and then the tablet screenshots. And we're going to hit save. All right, it looks like our app is now fully set up. Now we can create our new release. And so we're going to create a new release. And this is we have a oh, so the first thing we're going to do is choose a signing key. So we are going to use the Google generated signing key. We're going to go here and upload the build that we built out earlier. OK, perfect. Now that has been uploaded, we are going to change the release name. That looks good. We'll say first release. And then we're going to say app launch exclamation point and go ahead and hit next. OK, internal testing looks like we're good. We're going to save and publish. All right, perfect. Now we are going to go to app integrity. And we're actually going to do the play integrity API. And so we're going to link our cloud project. So we're going to link project. And now we are linked. Perfect. Now we're going to go back to dashboard. And then we're going to go to view release overview. I'm going to hit the arrow. So I actually made a mistake. I tried to upload the version code number two. And because I already uploaded it for testing, that means I can't upload the same build. So what I'm going to do is go back to cursor and run EAS build platform Android. But before I do that, I'm going to actually change the version code. So I'm going to go to app.json. And right here, I'm going to say version version code 3. Perfect. Now I'm going to save that and hit build. And then once it's built, I'll let you know. OK, so now we are going to download the file that we just created again. And then we are going to add this to the app bundle. I believe it's the second one. Let's just check today, 515. Perfect. Uploaded. And we're going to hit next. And we seem to have one error. So we have to add countries or regions selected for this tract. So we're going to go back to this production right here. We're going to countries and regions. And we're going to add countries. And we're going to add every single country. Go to overview. OK, it looks good. Go to testing release, production, releases, edit release. And this is the app bundle we uploaded. Hit next. Now that looks good. So we're going to save. Go to overview. And look at this issue. It looks like we do have an issue in complete advertising ID. So all developers change. Do we use an advertising ID? No, we do not. It seems looks like we forgot that one. So we're going to go back to overview. Looks good. Send 14 changes for review. OK, and after the reviews have been changed, now they are in for review. Now we just have to wait and hear back from Google Play Store. So if you like this video or you found this helpful, please like the video. Uh, it really helps me out.